Friday, November 10, 2023. First reading. Romans 15 verses 14 to 21. I myself am convinced about you, my brothers and sisters, that you yourselves are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge, and able to admonish one another. But I have written to you rather boldly in some respects to remind you, because of the grace given me by God, to be a minister of Christ Jesus to the Gentiles, in performing the priestly service of the gospel of God, so that the offering up of the Gentiles may be acceptable, sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In Christ Jesus, then, I have reason to boast in what pertains to God. For I will not dare to speak of anything, except what Christ has accomplished through me, to lead the Gentiles to obedience by word and deed, by the power of signs and wonders, by the power of the Spirit of God so that from Jerusalem all the way around to Illyricum. I have finished preaching the gospel of Christ. Thus I aspire to proclaim the gospel, not where Christ has already been named, so that I do not build on another's foundation. But as it is written, those who have never been told of him shall see and those who have never heard of him shall understand. The Word of God. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song. For he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him. His holy arm. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness. Toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. Alleluia, Alleluia. Whoever keeps the word of Christ, the love of God is truly perfected in him. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel. According to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, A rich man had a steward who was reported to him for squandering his property. He summoned him and said, What is this I hear about you? Prepare a full account of your stewardship, because you can no longer be my steward. The steward said to himself, What shall I do? Now that my master is taking the position of steward away from me, I am not strong enough to dig and I am ashamed to beg. I know what I shall do so that, when I am removed from the stewardship, they may welcome me into their homes. He called in his master's debtors one by one. To the first he said, How much do you owe my master? He replied, One hundred measures of olive oil. He said to him, Here is your promissory note. Sit down and quickly write one for fifty. Then to another he said, And you, 
how much do you owe? He replied, one hundred measures of wheat. He said to him, here is your promissory note. Write one for eighty. And the master commended that dishonest steward for acting prudently. For the children of this world are more prudent in dealing with their own generation than the children of light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you Lord Jesus Christ.